Every now and then, something happens to make me reconsider my tough stance against the view. It's exceptionally rare, but this is definitely one of those moments. Don't get me wrong, all the leftists on this show are stealth socialists, but apparently they stop short of supporting communist dictatorships. Well, all but one of them. He said Fidel was a bad guy. He was All he was saying was, there's this one thing no that they did. And he's, American he's, voters don't understand matter. nuance. They yes, hear they communism no, and no, go crazy. No, no, this is, there's no way around that. Just... Wow, Americans have no nuance because they can see that subpar social programs are no substitute for security and freedom. Can you even imagine for one second that Trump, or anyone for that matter, said that Hitler wasn't so bad because of his social programs? Forget about it. That person would cease to exist in public life. But for some strange reason, communism and the monsters who implemented it are treated almost as if they're mainstream. Look at all the people who openly wear chains Guevara shirts despite his brutal racist blood-soaked regime. Gee, could it possibly be that all the people who enforce these standards are all Marxist, socialist, and communist themselves? Take this senior ABC News correspondent who openly admitted that the media is corrupt after Trump and that he is an outright socialist. And by the way, ABC News just suspended this guy for telling the truth. We'll get right back to the spew in just a moment. But first, I want to remind you all that yesterday, the CDC warned Americans to prepare for severe disruptions to everyday life because of the coronavirus. When emergencies strike, you always see news stories of long lines of people and empty store shelves. There's no need to be a part of that chaos and the possibility of having to deal with FEMA food lines. Those that know what's coming are using today to prepare. You should make a plan too. Start by building an emergency food supply. And I trust and use my Patriot Supply. You can too. They're experts in emergency preparedness and have a guaranteed two-day delivery. Disasters won't wait. Neither should you. This week, save $70 on a two-week emergency food kit when you go to my special website, preparewithdronetech.com. My Patriot food supply kits last up to 25 years in storage and include breakfasts, lunches, and dinners. Order a few today and receive a guaranteed two-day delivery discreetly to your door. Take action so you're ready for what's coming and save $70. Those that know what's coming are preparing. Go to preparewithdronetech.com preparewithdronetech.com as as you know who's saying they were good people yep. on both sides yeah. it's the same it's the same thing mm -hmm. there's no way to get i don't it, agree oh i do oh my, are we really back to this one step forward 100 steps back what you just said there is a straight up lie not only have we here at Drone Tech Politics brutally debunked this lie, but supposedly mainstream journalists like Jake Tapper have admitted it's a lie. Trump never said that neo-Nazis were good people. He was specifically talking about normal people on either side of the statue debate. He clearly separated the neo-Nazis and then condemned them. I'm not going to spend any more time on this. If you agree with Whoopi, I'm going to leave some links in the description that you need to check out. You know... Something. Hitler wasn't so bad because but he, he didn't say that. But no, he didn't say that. But to a Cuban person, yep, yeah. it's just as bad. I agree. It's Cuban just as bad. Yeah. Cuban refugees who freedom. lost everything. This is pretty solid evidence that Behar is a brain dead old hag who has no business on television. After Whoopi and all of her co hosts made the point that saying what Bernie said was tantamount to saying that Hitler wasn't that bad, she still persists in trying to rationalize it. Why exactly does she? She think that so many Cubans risk their lives to get to American shores. Does she not know about the gulags and mass executions? And American voters don't understand nuance. I will say this. While The View crew appears to be logical and rational here, every single one of them would support the policies and programs that were implemented by Fidel Castro. They just convinced themselves that if they did it, it would be different. Did one good yeah. thing, he said. I don't think, yeah. well, by the way, that, that literacy program that he was talking about was a re-education program. <laughs> yes, it was. There's a big difference. There you go. There's nothing good to say about Fidel, and so it'll cost him a lot in the I believe polls. the literacy rate did jump quite a bit after that. Okay. Yeah, I, not, yeah, I'm not yeah. sure they were getting not, a really good dose of not. world history yeah. in that, yeah. in that oh, program. So look, I'm, I, I'm not... Do they get that here? I'm, I'm not, Do they get that here? Wrong again, Joy! 
Did you all notice also how she bashed America under her breath as she was getting put in her place by her co-hosts? And again, it blows my mind that Behar still is trying to rationalize her position, even after her co-host told her that it's analogous to standing up for Hitler, even throwing her own free country under the bus in his defense. It's unbelievable. These people have made their lives on the capitalist system. Final point, I just want to keep reminding people that while the media bashes Bernie for the things he said about communist dictatorships in the past, they themselves are guilty of saying the same things. Check out my video from yesterday for more on that. And just to be clear, I'm not defending Bernie Sanders, but we need to remember that the media is just as a big a threat to this country and the values that it was founded on. Bernie is just a convenient scapegoat to deflect attention onto, while they come up with new tactics to deceive the American voter about their true intentions. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. If you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing to me on Patreon, Subscribestar, or just sending a donation on PayPal. For just $1 a month, you'll get early access to all my videos. Last thing, the CDC is warning Americans to prepare for severe disruptions to their lives thanks to the coronavirus. Now is the time to stock up on emergency food supplies. Just go to preparewithdronetech.com. Thanks for watching. Keep coming back.